Hello friends, today I am going to discuss what, what will be the output of the flying curve. So at here this is the curve and here we have 4 different options. So at here 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4 and here 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 4 and here in last 1, 2, 5 and 1, 2, 5. So at here this curve at here using csop.net. So first I am going to execute this code and show you the output first. So add here this concept is related with the post increment here and here pre increment. So add here the output it's a display 1 to 5 and 1 to 4. Now hereafter I am going to explain this code. So if you debug or run the code, control comes to main method here after that coincide. So at here I have taken integer type variable i. It is initialized with 0. Now here, so at here this is the while loop. Now here while. So at here this is the first increment. So first that at here i value is now 0. And here after that check 0 less than 5. So this condition is true. Condition true. Now here post increment. So after when the condition is true, here after when that go next step, then i become 1. And here after that coincide here console dot right. So it will i value 1. Now here loop continue. So at here i value is now 1, 1 less than 5 condition is true. So that coincide when that go next state. So i plus plus i become 1 to 2. At here that print i value 2. Now here up to that go and here 2 less than 5 condition is true. So here that coincide here post decrement. So at here that increase the value of i i3 here print the value of i3 here after that is now 3 less than 5 condition is true and here that coincide so at here post increment so at here that print the value of i so at here post post decrement so at here that increase the value and here that coincide print the value of i for print here after that check 4 less than 5 condition is true so here condition is true with that go for next step then that increase the value of i. i is now 5 and here this print i value 5. Here after that check 5 less than 5 condition is not true condition is false. But at here with that go for next step that increase the value of i. So i is now 6. Here condition is false so this not go inside here that control comes to this point. Console dot right time here cursor click to the near end. Here i value start from 0 and here while pre increment so that increase the value of i. So i is now 0 to 1. 1 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So at here console dot right print the value of i. i value is now 1, 1 print. Here after pre increment so that increase the value of i first. So i is 2 now. 2 less than 5 condition is 2 that print and here i value. 2 print. Here after pre increment i is now 3. 3 less than 5 condition is 2 print the value of i. 3 print. Here after printing that go up increase the value of i. i is now 4. 4 less than 5 condition is 2 that coincide that print the value of i. 4 print. Here after when that i become 5. So at here 5 less than 5 condition is false. So if the condition is false, so that not coincide here console dot read line. So it take one input from q1 and terminate the output. So at here this is the output, it's a display. So at here correct output C. So at here this concept is related with of the increment and post increment and your while loop. So this is uh, at here lots of, lots of people confused. They keep at here i value is 0 and here that uh, they said that uh, the value is now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But it is not true. So 
So this is the way that code works. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.